there are some specifically really alarming elements which appear to uh, run against the, these countries' international legal obligations. Uh, for example, um, the agreement appears to allow profiling of people. Uh, we're seeing this particularly uh, impacting on the Afghans among the group, and of course Afghans um, might well include refugees, um, but they're being stopped at borders um, apparently solely on the basis of their nationality. Um, there's also the issue of documentation, so the, the agreement appears to allow simply refusing entry to someone because they don't have a valid travel document. There's also nothing in this uh, statement at all to, to guide the police on who they should be really taking care to protect, for example, unaccompanied minors, uh, women who are, who are vulnerable to trafficking, um, old people who are in, you know, particularly need particular care. Uh, people who are from different sexual orientations who may be facing persecution in, in a country uh, who persecutes people because they're homosexual or for some other reason like that. So there are none of the kind of safeguards that have been built up you know, over decades to ensure that people who need protection can get it. And the High Commissioner is urging these five countries to to rethink this, this agreement that their police forces uh, drew up among themselves uh, a week or so ago. Um, it needs to be brought into line with international, inter international law and indeed EU law. Um, so you have the EU countries among this group and they appear to be ignoring existing EU legislation.